Hey everybody, it's Michael from Wahoo Comics and I just got back from a four day business trip to find two boxes of comics waiting on my kitchen counter that had been delivered while I was gone. Now what is better than coming home to that? Well, I mean, I guess it was nice to see my wife and kids after being away for so long, but these comics were a close second. Now before I show you what I got, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, of course, I'd appreciate if you consider doing so as we march on towards 300 subscribers. So, both of these boxes are from longtime collectors who have been looking to move on from their collection, and I bought several books from each of them, uh, but I'm hoping to buy more in the coming weeks and months. Of course, or they had several <laughs> too many that I was interested in that I could afford at one time. Uh, but for the first seller, uh, the book that I was most excited about, and I'll just show you some I got from him because I got you know, more than 10. So I'm only going to show about half of them. And the one I'm most excited about is definitely this one, Thor number 134, which contains the first appearance of the High Evolutionary, another one of my favorite villains of all time. Uh, back when I was a student at the University of Virginia, I double majored in biology and religious studies. And so I've always been interested in bioethics. And, you know, if you know anything about this character, he, he brings up the most problematic bioethical questions. And so I've always just found him super interesting. And so I'm really glad to add this book to my collection uh, because of his appearance and also this awesome Jack Kirby cover. And of course, just an early Thor. Now, in addition to my just personal love of this book, I do think this is one that is a good investment if you're looking for uh, an early Silver Age key to buy because we do know that this character is going to be in the Guardians of the Galaxy 3 movie. And so I expect whenever we see him in a trailer or get more information about him, that this book is gonna jump in value even more than it has. Uh, and so if you can find it at a good price, it might be one worth considering picking up. All right, another one I was excited to get was Iron Man number 17, and this contains the first appearance of one of my favorite female villains of all time, Madame Mask. Now, there are rumors that this character was going to be back in the Hawkeye Disney Plus show, and I was really hoping she was because I love her again, uh, but uh, it, it, her not being there means that the book was a lot more affordable, so I'm glad to get it now and hopefully she does show up whether it's in hawkeye because of her connection to eleanor bishop in the comics or some other way i do hope and think we will at some point see her all right switching over to some heroes another first appearance of a character that we do know is coming to the mcu at some point and so i think this is a good book to be picking up now is nova number one which of course contains the first appearance of the richard rider version of nova and we don't know exactly which Nova will be there, but I think this book will be valuable no matter what because it's the first Nova, even if we get the Sam Alexander. And, and actually, I think there's a good chance we get several Novas in that series. Uh, and what is better than getting Nova number one but two issues of Nova number one? Now, if you know anything about this character in the Nova Corps, they're somewhat analogous to... DC's Green Lantern Corps, and so another book that I was excited to get was this one, Green Lantern number 59, which contains the first appearance of Guy Gardner. Uh, maybe my favorite of the Green Lanterns, definitely way up there, and so I'm really happy to have it, and this is definitely a low-grade book, but as we've talked about before, low-grade is better than no-grade, so happy to have it. Another character that's coming to media at some point, uh, he's confirmed to be in an upcoming HBO Max uh, Green Lantern series whenever that arrives. And another book that I got from the seller that I'm excited about is Godzilla number one, which is the first ongoing series, at least in America, of Godzilla. And he's a character that I love. I love all of his movies. And in addition, just to my, again, personal love, I think it's Apple TV that's developing a Godzilla monsterverse. Uh, and so I expect there to be continued interest in him and his story and, of 
course, they're always making movies of him as well here and there. So I'm really happy to have it and love that cover. And speaking of covers that I love, I've got a few more to show you. Uh, one more from this seller, and it is this one, Wolverine number one. Of course, the first issue in his first limited series. And this awesome Frank Miller cover, one of the best Wolverine covers of all time. Uh, so super happy to have another copy of this. I've got several copies of this one. Anytime I can find it at a decent price, I pick it up. All right, staying on the good cover theme, but switching over to the second seller. I got uh, Batman 423, which is this iconic Todd McFarlane Batman cover. Probably, um, yeah, I'm certain his most famous Batman cover. And I already have one copy of this, but if you know me, I'm a big fan of Todd McFarlane, so happy to add the second copy of this to my collection. But a book that I did not have yet is this one, Detective Comics number 475, which contains this classic Joker cover. And <laughs> he's got the Joker fish uh, here <laughs> as guns. And, <laughs> and I haven't read this. I'm curious if this comes to play in the story or if it's just supposed to be this goofy cover and it's just a regular Batman Joker you know, story. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. And one more Batman book, and this is the last one I got from this seller this time around, like I said, hopefully get more, is Batman number 308, which contains the first appearance of Tiffany Fox. And this one is a really clean copy, and so I am really happy to add another Batman key to my collection. All right, well, that's all I've got to show you today. Uh, of course, again, if you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate if you consider doing so. Like the video, comment, tell me which of these books were your favorite or a book that you've picked up recently that you've been excited about or just anything else about comics. Hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.